for the figure drawn, what is the magnitude of the current I3? So what do we see from the figure? We see that current I1 is 9 amperes, current I2 is 3 amperes. We don't know what is current I3. And I1 is headed to the junction, current I2 leaves the junction, and current I3 also leaves the junction. Let's do a fast review. Kirchhoff's junction rule of charge conservation, charge conservation, charge conservation says that the total current entering a point, total current entering a point is equal to the total current leaving the same point. So what do we know? We know that current is the flow of charges. So let's assume that delta Q coulombs of charges flow across a cross-sectional area per unit time. So we get I is equal to delta Q divided by delta T. What is I? Current in amperes. What is delta Q? Charge in coulombs. What is delta T? Time in seconds. So do not forget, current is equal to delta Q over delta T. And that is coulombs over second. And coulombs over second is what we define as an ampere. Direction of current is the direction in which positive charges move. Do not forget, in a metallic wire, it is the electrons that move. So again, current is the rate at which charges flow across. It is the rate at which charges flow across a cross-sectional area. All right, let's do this problem. What do we see? We see nine entering. We see three leaving. So what is I3? All right, so current entering is I1. So here is I1 and current leaving is, what is that? I3. And what is this? And that is I2. We have nine is equal to three plus I3. Current entering is nine. Current leaving is three and I3. So current entering, nine. Current leaving, three plus I3. So you subtract three from both sides. And what do we get? I3 is equal to six amperes. So we see that current I3 is six amperes. So the current here is six amperes. What is the correct answer? Six amperes is the correct answer.